Hello again, I am Blunt. Yet another video on the ROG Ally. I know, but there is still so much I want to try and test and play with and see if I can find exactly where its limits are. I've already done full-on, full-fat Steam VR with a thing. I've already done ray tracing in Minecraft in Java and Bedrock. I've already done ray tracing in Cyberpunk 2077, for crying out loud, and a whole bunch of other games. I've talked about the docks and the 4K output and all that kind of stuff. you find all the links to that in the down below, by the way. If you have been watching those thank you very much leave a comment in the down below what you're most excited about and what i haven't looked at yet that you're curious about thank you as always of course to the patrons who uh, uh you know they're above uh, above and beyond support is vital for just keeping this engine running you know what i mean so what are we doing today well this the title of the video I, I don't know why i tease the openings like this because you already know why you're here because it's in the title and the thumbnail obviously and what we're doing today is i'm seeing how well the ally uh, streams and I'm not talking about what I did live on stream a couple of weekends ago, where I did some Fallout 4 streaming, capturing the Ally through my usual streaming setup. Uh, no, I'm talking about using the Ally as a self-contained stream device. And that's what you're looking at right here. We've got Monster Hunter Rise, a current generation game going on here. I've got it in settings that give me uh, 1080p native. I'm running at 60 frames a second pretty damn solid at the moment. So, you know, we're not making any compromises on the game experience. I've got OBS running on the other screen. Can't, can't capture those two screens simultaneously. I'll do a little inset cut for you there just to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm doing the camera, this is a, you know, a proper camera. This is my Lumix S5, as a matter of fact. So nice full frame camera. And I've got this going through an Elgato Cam Link, which is a little USB sort of thumb drive shape thing. It's got a HDMI port on one end, USB port on the other end. You've been using them for years and years and years. I use an internal version on my main rig that has four different inputs. Uh, it's one of my favorite Elgato devices, as a matter of fact. But yeah, like I said, you just plug the HDMI input from your camera into it, and Windows just treats it like a web camera. No drivers, no setup, no extra software. You just go into OBS and you go, hey, find a webcam, and it finds this, and you put it up, and jobs are good. And so we're doing a little overlay here. So it's handling the web camera. It's resizing and cropping the web camera. We've got a little overlay here as well and the game in the background. And we're recording at the same time. I'm not live streaming this because live streaming a test like this is kind of awkward. But I'm recording using the exact same settings as I would for a live stream. So we're using the AMD encoder. Uh, so we're not asking the CPU to do any encoding. We're using the uh, video encoder built on or built in to the RDNA 3 architecture, which I think is identical to the RDNA 2 architecture when it comes to video encoding. Um, you can and do AV1 encoding if you like, but of course my streaming services don't support that. I think YouTube just started supporting it, but yeah, at the moment I'm just seeing the standard H.264 encoding, which is common amongst all the streaming platforms. Um, and so we're using the quality mode of uh, AMD's encoder, which I'm going to be honest with it is not as good as Nvidia's encoder. Uh, I did a 60 FPS test and uh, it worked fantastically. Spoiler alert, this works perfectly. Um, but AMD's encoder is not really up to the task of encoding 1080p 60 at the kind of frame rates you need to stream at. I've got my uh, bitrate set at 8,000 kilobits per second, which is what you can stream to YouTube at. It's what you can stream to Twitch at if you are a Twitch partner. If you are not a Twitch partner, 6,000, a little bit less. So you might have to drop the resolution down to get a nice clean feed out of that. A lot of people stream that way. A lot of people watch in windowed mode anyway. So even if you're not streaming at 1080 native, you get, you know, stuff is still going to look fine. I like to stream at 1080 native because I also like to record at the same time if I want to use that stuff for videos, you know, for YouTube after the fact. Um, so, yeah, it, it works remarkably well. Uh, I haven't really fiddled with my lighting on my camera much at the moment, so it doesn't look as good as my regular stream, I imagine. I'm using this headset mic at the moment because if you're streaming from the Ally, I reckon chances are you're on the move. Like, you're not sitting at, you're at your home where you've got your proper desk mic and, and everything. So this is designed to be as compact as portals possible. So I've got it sitting in one of those docks I reviewed. Uh, as I said, I've got the cam link, the camera you might be traveling with anyway if you're a content creator, uh, and everything running internally on the uh, uh, Ally. I will switch to the internal microphones uh, of the Ally in a little bit later on the video for you so you can give those a listen. Um, and also might try, I've got some... ROG LA uh, uh, earbuds they sent me uh, along with this. I haven't really played with those yet, but they've got a mic on them. I might test those for you later as well. But for right now, I reckon we um, do, do, do. Let's mount up and go for a little ride here so we can actually get some high speed action because, of course, video encoding, if it's going to break down, it's going to break down on high motion stuff. So we'll give a little swing here. Oh, look how crabby boy. I don't think you're the quest target. So we're just going to sail past you. I think, I think this quest target's a Rathian. Uh, so let's go for... Oh, there she is. That was convenient. Nice timing. Hello. So let's get in a fight and see how this thing handles. Lots of action. 
and uh, you know, lots of animations, explosions, noises, and stuff like that. And oh shit! Whoop. Yep. I uh, <laughs> might be a little out of practice. I've been playing too much Tears of the Kingdom and haven't been keeping up with the monster hunter skills. Right here, whoops! Should be a pretty easy fight, though, right? What could possibly go wrong? Let's get some charge on the old charge fight here. We'll store those files in the shield. Where you go? Do a little flippity do. So yeah, you might have a better idea of what's going on here. This is the first test of the ah, crap of the 30 uh, FPS encoding settings. Like I said, my initial test before I started recording this uh, intro for you, just to make sure it all works, because this is effectively a live test. So what you're seeing is me testing it live. So hopefully this all works, and I'll upload a video uh, to YouTube. And hooray! If it doesn't, I might have to go back to the drawing board and see where my pain points are. Oh, right in the face! Come on! Whoop! No, I've got poisoned. Okay. That's embarrassing. Basic little Master Rathian there. Aha, right inside. Full discharge, all the way down your spine. Ha ha ha. And I paid for it in Venom again. We'll just heal up, shall we? No, she's after me! Whoop! How dare you. Give me your tail. Bonk. God, I love this game. Do you love this game? I love this game. Anyway, I think that's... Whoops! Proof positive enough of what we need to see here. We've got some fast action gameplay. So, at this point, I will uh, put a, Oh, the, the headset, by the way, um, I'll, I'll link this in the down below. It is one of my favorite headsets of all time. Uh, very, very comfortable. Open back so I can hear what's going on around me. And as you can hear, the microphone is surprisingly good for a headset microphone. I used to stream with this all the time before I got a proper desktop uh, microphone and everything. So I'll link all the gear. I'll link all the gear in the down below because people ask, and if it's not there, they whine. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 cut and we'll switch and I'll let you uh, have a listen to what the internal microphones sound like, shall we? Okay. Alrighty, one quick cut later, and as you can see, I've got to hit the right button again. I've got the microphone flipped up here, so you're not listening to this microphone. You are listening to the microphones on the Allo themselves. They are sitting, uh, let's call it uh, 50 centimeters away, just uh, to my right-hand side a little bit here, just convenient where it would be on the desk. Just a little bit above where you would, your mouse would normally rest to give you an idea about the distance. Because uh, we need to leave room for the mouse and the keyboard, of course, if we're going to do this. Uh, and don't want it directly in front of me because my hands are resting in front of me and I'm holding the controller and I don't want too many of the controller noises to come through. Uh, we are using the AI-enhanced uh, noise uh, filtering mode because, again, that just seems like the sensible thing to do. You can use without that. Uh, if it's sounding a little bit weird, it's probably for the AI stuff. So, what do you reckon? You reckon that's good enough? Okay, let's say you're traveling ultralight, or you prefer the in-ear style uh, listening. Uh, so I'm testing the ROG. You know what? I forget what they're branded. They sent them along as a sample when they sent the review unit for the Ally. And I haven't really played with them much, because quite frankly, a set of Bluetooth earbuds is the least exciting thing about playing with the new ROG Ally. You are listening to the microphone built into these now. I have not tested this. So as I'm saying these words, I've got no idea how it sounds to you, but I will once I put it in the editor, and uh, you guys can hear for yourself. Is this acceptable to stream with? Alrighty, there you go. I have switched to my regular desktop recording microphone at this point, because quite frankly, I did record an outro, but I was uh, recording it with the inbuilt microphones on the Ally, and they are just not I, something I want to listen to. I mean, if you need them just for like a, a video conference thing or a voice call or uh, a little bit of in-game chat, you can get away with it. But for streaming, for actual, you know, content content, uh, I won't be using those. They are perfectly serviceable for basic tasks, but not good enough for this. Uh, you do want a proper microphone or a, yeah, at least a decent headset microphone. Uh, to be able to do this and that's easy enough i normally travel with those things anyway because as a content creator i'm always carrying my you know, camera and my mics and whatnot so if i ever do need to or or have a want to uh you know do a live stream using the rg la from a hotel room or from a show floor or something as long as i can get decent wi-fi on a show floor which <laughs> good luck uh yeah i can totally do that and that's a fun thing to think about so, what do you reckon? How did that look to you? How did that sound to you? Let me know in the down below. Thank you as always for checking this out. Thank you especially to the patrons scrolling on by there now. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time. And we'll catch you next time.